the globe, latitudes and longitudes. We want to know more about Earth as Earth is a fascinating place to live in. To know it better, we need to find a true representation of it. Our Earth is neither round nor a perfect sphere. It is slightly flattened at the top and at the bottom, known as the North Pole and South Pole respectively. This shape of Earth can be best shown with the help of a globe. Globe We use a globe to represent Earth. Thus, globe is a model of Earth on a small scale. A globe is mounted on an axis and you can spin it in the way Earth actually rotates. The axis of the Earth is tilted, which is how the globe is also shown. It is not easy to carry the globe everywhere, although nowadays handy folding globes are available. With the help of globes, we can easily understand distances, directions and exact shape of continents and oceans etc. Trivia Circumference of the equator 40,075.16 km 24,901.55 miles Earth's circumference between the North and South Poles 24,859.82 miles 40,008 km Earth's diameter at the equator 7,926.28 miles 12,756.1 km Earth's diameter at the poles 7,899.80 miles 12,713.5 km Axis is shown passing through the North Pole and the South Pole in the center of the Earth on which the globe lies in a tilted manner. The Earth in space is also placed in a tilted position. This tilted axis of Earth is responsible for the phenomena such as days and nights of different durations and occurrence of seasons on Earth. The equator is drawn between North and South Pole in the middle of the globe. The northern half of the globe is known as the Northern Hemisphere and the southern half is known as the Southern Hemisphere. Thus, an equator is an imaginary circular line that serves as an important reference point to locate places on Earth. The Earth is inclined at an angle of 66 and a half degrees from the orbital or horizontal plane. Though the globe gives us more or less correct picture of the Earth, but it cannot provide us any specific information about a small place. It is also not easy to carry a globe everywhere. Latitudes and Longitudes Using the North Pole and the South Pole as the basic reference points, two sets of imaginary circles are drawn around the globe. Circles parallel to each other round the globe are called parallels of latitude. The other set of circles is drawn through the poles. Half of each circle running from the North Pole to South Pole is called a meridian of longitude. These circles help to locate any place on the globe. The equator represents the zero degree latitude. Since the distance from the equator is either of the poles is one fourth of a circle around the Earth, it will measure one fourth of 360 degrees, that is 90 degrees. Thus, 90 degrees north latitude marks the North Pole and 90 degrees south latitude marks the South Pole. As such, all parallels north of the equator are called north latitudes. Similarly, all parallels south of equator are called South Latitudes Important Parallels of Latitudes The latitude of a place is at its angular distance north or south of equator. 
it gives the location of a place from the equator there are four important parallels of latitudes a tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree north in the northern hemisphere b tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degree south in the southern hemisphere c arctic circle 66 and a half degree north north of equator d antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south south of equator heat zones the parallels divide the earth into various heat zones different zones have different types of vegetation and climate they are therefore called climatic zones or heat zones there are three main heat zones important latitudes and heat zones torrid zone this zone lies between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn this zone experiences high temperature throughout the year because the rays of the sun fall vertically on this region making it extremely hot most of india lies in this zone the sun's rays fall vertically on the tropic of cancer on 21st june making it the longest day in the year similarly 22nd december experiences longest night trivia heat zones of the earth are the three significantly different temperature zones of the earth these were first categorized by greek scholar aristotle although some of aristotle's hypothesis about heat zones have been proven incorrect the very existence of heat zones is accepted by scientists world over temperate zone this zone lies between the tropic of cancer and arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and between the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere this zone never receives the vertical rays of the sun and so it experiences moderate temperature throughout the year the sun's rays are slanting reducing the heat and keeping the temperature moderate frigid zone the meaning of frigid is cold this zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole in the northern hemisphere and between the antarctic circle and the south pole in the southern hemisphere the temperatures remain very low throughout the year as this zone receives very slanting sun rays so these zones get the least amount of heat and they are the closest regions of the earth meridians of longitude longitude or meridian means midday it is the reference line to locate places in the north and south direction this is because all places lying on the same parallel of latitude say 50 degree north will have the same latitude 50 degree north therefore a place cannot be located uniformly by its latitude alone all the meridians are drawn as semicircles joining the two poles unlike the parallels of latitudes the meridians of longitudes are equal in length but they are not parallel to each other the distance between two meridians increases pole wards all meridians are parallel at an interval of 1 degree on both sides of the prime meridian prime meridian is the 0 degree longitude passing through greenwich in england thus there are 180 meridians in each hemisphere it divides the earth into western and eastern hemisphere remember the 180 degree longitude in each hemisphere coincides with each other this longitude with slight modifications is called as the international date line grid the parallels alone cannot be used to locate a place the parallels and meridians from a grid of intersecting lines on the globe or on a map 
the parallels help us to locate a place north or south of the equator the meridians do the same east or west of the prime meridian the point of intersection of these lines gives the precise location of a place longitude and time the best means of measuring time is by the movement of the earth the moon and the planets we know that earth is a sphere and rotates on its axis this rotation takes 24 hours to complete one full circle it means that it takes 4 minutes of each degree of longitude to pass in front of the sun in calculating time we refer to two separate terms local time and standard time local time the sun rises and sets every day it is the best time keeper throughout the world the time at the meridian which faces the sun is always 12 noon all meridians east of a particular longitude meridian will be ahead of 12 noon which places west of the particular meridian will have time before 12 noon this way all meridians have their own specific time called local time a place situated at the same meridian records the same local time standard time standard time is the local time of a meridian which is adopted for the whole of the country and that meridian is called standard meridian for india the local time of 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude is known as the standard meridian of india if the places situated at different meridians keep their local time then travelers from one place to another would have to keep adjusting their watches to avoid this a uniform time is selected for the country known as standard time the surface of the earth is divided into 24 zones there are as many zones as there are hours in a day these are called time zones and the time established in each zone is called the standard time for the particular system the time in each zone differs by one zone in india the local time of 82 and a half degree east passing through ilahabad is taken as the standard time of the country it is also known as the indian standard time ist the indian standard time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of greenwich mean time gmt that is the local time of greenwich time zones of the world a time zone is a north south section of the earth in which all clocks show the same time the subject of the world standard time was discussed at the international congress held in washington consequently the world was divided into 24 time zones of 1 hour each some big countries like usa and russia have adopted more than one standard time the reason is that they have large longitudinal extent for example usa has nine standard time zones while Russia has as many as 11 standard times.